Right, so I don't normally do unboxing videos, but box just arrived and I have a fair idea of what it is. And so I thought I'd better unbox this. I've started the unboxing process. I've, I've removed sort of the paper and some of box one from what I've got, but uh, box, the, the unboxing is about to occur. This is in many ways uh, the most expensive book I've ever bought. And it's the most expensive book I've ever bought because I wanted it to exist. And uh, many years ago, I think back in 2009, so 13 years ago, Ron Drummond came over to me at the World Science Fiction Convention and explained that uh, the book had been in process and then the printer had collapsed and basically taken all the money with them as they collapsed. And um, the project needed rescuing and it needed rescuing essentially by a, a donation. And while I wasn't the only person who donated, I was one of the main people who, who got to carry this project forward. And I did it because I love the book, which is John Crowley's book, Little Big, uh, which I think is just one of the most incredible books of the 20th century. And I also did it um, because I love the idea of being able to hold one in my hand and of the people who had subscribed to the book, being able to hold it in their hands. Um, it was originally meant to be the 25th anniversary edition. It is now coming out as the 40th anniversary edition and I'm excited. And with no further ado, uh, first of all, first impressions before even opening it properly is it's really heavy and second impression is it's really thick okay so unboxing about to happen I'm unfolding the box I feel to get to this point and the book here is a copy an advanced copy of little big of the fairies parliament Art by Peter Melton, afterward by Harold Bloom, and I will pull out my little cutter and cut very gently the cellophane. And my copy is in green. And huge. And these very haunting, oh my gosh, beautiful illustrations on the back. Um, and it has a uh, thing by Neil Gaiman, uh, which is a kind of tiny introduction that I wrote. And uh, there are, I know that I'm not the only one who wrote one of these introductions, so. Um, there, are, there are another two of them out there, I won't tell you who wrote. Um, and it's gorgeous. One of my problems with Little Big has been copies of the book have always been too small. The type was too small. The way they were put together were too small. And this, this is gorgeous. 
On a certain day in June 19 something, a young man was making his way on foot northward from the great city to a town or place called Edgewood that he had been told of but had never visited. His name was Smokey Barnable. He was going to Edgewood to get married. The fact that he walked and didn't ride was one of the conditions placed on his coming there at all. And um, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Now I just want to take it away and read it. It is how many pages? Six hundred and sixty-one. So it's over seven hundred pages, and uh, the little big project has happened. Um, It's the author's preferred text in the novel. It's beautiful. And I was never 100,000% sure it would ever exist. I don't think any of us were, but it exists. It's beautiful. And um, if you're one of the people who is waiting for your copy, who paid for it at some point, make sure that you get in touch with Incunabula and you let them know that what your current address is, how to get it to you, and so forth. There are, I think, three or four hundred copies left for sale um, that weren't already spoken for. And uh, if you want one, again, order it now. It's not cheap, but... Um, they will soon all be gone and then the prices will only go up. Right. There we go. It's so cool. Little big. 25th anniversary edition. Printed on the 40th anniversary. 